As you know, Frank's car is pretty much totaled and he sold his motor and uh, we're taking delivery of his new car right now. Uh, surprisingly, the guy pulled up with it towed by a Jeep, uh, which I know they don't have a very high towing capacity. Now. I'm actually scared to tow with my car, but I'll have to ask him and see how it goes with that thing anyways, but it's just a, uh, you'll see, it's, it's just picking up the front two wheels, so it's pretty light overall. Look at that, there it is. And so this is the S13.5, right? So it's got the S15 front end, S13 body, whatever. But the special part about it, we'll, we'll have to hear it. I think he's gonna get rid of the wing right away. Um, he's got the riveted on overs, which is what he wants, because I think he wants to go up to bigger flares at some time, uh, whereas the ones on that 240 are molded on, so. Hey, I don't know about that. It is open headers, so it's quite loud. And I said it was an LS motor, and it's not an LS motor. It's actually a 5.3, I believe, iron block. So don't give me shit for that. I know it's not an actual LS. It is a truck motor, but it's pretty much an LS because you can swap everything from like an LS1 onto it, so whatever. Now we're both gonna have LS drift cars, or I mean, once the vet actually gets more drift car, we'll both have LS drift cars. This thing is obviously way more like purpose built. Just like every 240 ever, uh, it's missing body panels and they're all different colors. But this, these are actually the same exact uprights that I have on the Miata. This just looks a lot taller because it has this thing and these things down here. But literally the exact same ones. And I might steal these end plates. I kind of like these and since the vet is going more aggressive, I might steal these. We just checked to see if there's any codes or anything, and it's actually uh, all clear, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's just running a little weird. I know that they said that they have some fuel line issues, so I'm not sure if it's cutting out because of that. Uh, also, like something with the throttle. I'm sure you can barely hear me right now, but uh, it's definitely a project, that's for sure. Emilio's here with his Miata. I'm probably gonna do some kind of like dash cluster work on that thing. I think we're gonna pull this thing inside, try and figure some stuff out on it. It's got some kind of fuel issue, so we'll probably pull the pump, uh, try swapping out the fuel filter, see if that helps. All right, let's go ahead and do a walk around on your new car. Okay. So, just, I guess, start with the interior, what's been done, I guess, I don't know. I don't know that much either. The, uh, the engine harness is under the dash. It's kind of nice, done nicely. Um, it's got more interior than your other car, so yeah, that's a plus. I'm not really worried about interior, it's a track car. But um, uh, it's got like an ugly seat, it's really floppy. With some street faction rails, so nice rails. Um, but, I don't know, there's not much interior. I guess truck car and some other PS. But we got wheels, Cosmos wheels, brand new. Picking up another pair later I got with the car. Um, overs, the S15 front out with the D-Max hood. This big country labs wing with like some custom end plates, that's for sale. Um, and yeah, and then just the motor swap. Yeah. I let's, still, uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah. How do you pop the hood or you don't? You just lift it. Ooh, it is uh, steamy. Yeah. I can't wait to. So what are you doing with that radiator if you have this one? Putting it here. I don't like this one. Okay. No name boys. And then, uh, okay. With nicer and, pants. Uh, he said long tube headers. Yeah, hooker, long tubes. And then you're gonna swap your coils out of the other one. Which coils? These which are coils apex? are these? Apex coils on this Apex-y? thing. Yeah. And you got this got nasty, dusty filter Dirty. on here, but it, you could probably get that other one in there and make it at least kind of stay on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, 
Oh, this one's fun. This one is the, this filter is the one with the return, so you're gonna have to get one. You can't just plug it in. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah, so weird. I don't suggest it, but he just wanted to like just plug it straight in just as if it was a normal filter, but this is like the normal LS filter where it has the return built into it. So this is like, I don't know what it is, but essentially you can't do that, which is good because I don't suggest it. The thing is like, if the pump or if the filter is clogged, obviously there's shit in the tank and you don't want that going into the fuel rail and injectors and all that, so. His oil pressure sender in the back here is obviously leaking. It always does, but it's much easier to get to it on this car than one of the vets. But uh, having replaced that, I know that those things leak all the time. There's a little pool of oil back there, but nothing too major. It seems to run decent, just doesn't like it accelerating, I guess. I bet it's something fuel related though. It's got tubs in it too, not quite as nice as his other one, but obviously if he can do the other ones nice, he can make these ones nice as well. And then he's going to be swapping out his taillights too for the Type-X ones on the other one. Yeah, this wing, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it looks better in person than it does on like the pictures or whatever, but I still, I don't know how I feel about it. We also swapped out the taillights from this thing back onto here. Uh, he swapped out his seat. The seat in that thing was disgusting, or at least we all hated it. As you can see here, these ones aren't bolted in all the way, but I think they look all right. But obviously those look way better. And then what else? We took off the wing. I hated that wing. It's not like terrible. It's just, I don't think it looks good. I like, I like the way the hatches look clean. And he's got a different wing to put on there anyways. That's like rare or whatever. Yup. I hope the fuel filter fixes it. I think that'll be it. I hope so. Cause it's not throwing any codes, which I'm surprised. I would think that if it's getting fuel starved that it would throw codes for running lean. Like mine did when I had to change it out in the vet. It threw codes, but maybe it doesn't throw it like off quite as bad. I'm not sure. That's something to fix. thing rips so hard straight like first gear no traction at all just straight torque it's still not running perfect he's probably gonna end up getting screwed out there on his own we're probably gonna have to flat to him i'm betting on that too um but that thing that thing rips no no plates no registration no insurance i guess insurance because it it kind of you know it comes from his old car and like yeah. It, I don't yeah, know what the hell it's called, but he had insurance on that car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows? But that thing is awesome. Psyched. There we go. I think. Really? What? Yeah, you can see all the sparks coming out of the headers. That's probably not good. I think fucking rips. Yeah, it does. Jay-Z is a little nicer. It's like more casual and like, <laughs> like you could daily it. Like this is just like, like really scary. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I've ever driven an LS swap Japanese car. 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, my battery's about to die, and I think that about wraps it up for tonight. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.